So, Krugans, welcome back. In today's tutorial, we'll be learning how to remove background using the quick selection tool in two ways a fast way and another shorter way. So, I'll be using these two photos today. This is me, this is uh, one of my clients, she was modeling. So, uh, I'll begin with this on mine. The first step is to duplicate the layer, of course. After you have duplicated the layer, you come to this fourth tool, Quick Selection. Then, uh, we'll be selecting now the subject. Uh, if your nini is not visible, your brush is not visible, you press caps and uh, it will be visible. So, you come here, brush size. So for today I'll be using around uh, oh, 300 maybe, there, that's, that's a good size. Then I come and select the subject now. So you just uh, hold the mouse and the right button or the left button, you just drag over it. It's like you are highlighting. Then uh, Alt and the mouse wheel to zoom so you make sure the subject is well selected um, for here you can change the brush size oh. so yeah I've missed here I'll be fast because of the tutorial so here yeah, I'll just uh, remove using the minus tool as you can see minus to subtract plus to select it's very simple so uh, we will be using minus oh, not selected minus now that's it so then after I'm sure everything is well selected I right click Select inverse, then edit, fill, color, then I choose my color, maybe it's a white, maybe black, for this one let me use black, then ok, now that's it, you have, you have changed the background, but what if uh, you don't want to change the background, you just want to blight, so I'll just uh, do control Z, then I'll come to here filter blur lens blur. So what this does, uh, your background is more blurred. In some situations, you know, maybe you want your background to be more blurred. Maybe you want to add an, an effect on the background. You will use this tool. As you can see, it is taking time to select but uh, you can see the background is well blurred so I apply my filter so you can see my background is more blurred uh, I will undo this one what if I want to add an effect on the background so I can come here motion blur for motion blur, it will, uh, it will be like that. Like something is in motion, you can change the angle. You see, dep depending on how you, wa you want it. So for that one, I'll just uh, cancel. So you can come here, filter, radio blur. What this does, uh, it, uh, it has an effect on the background. You can choose a spin or zoom. The spin one, it spins let me show you it, it is taking some time here to load so let's just wait and in the comment section you can tell me what what other tutorial should I do just drop a comment down there
so the effect is like that for this one I'll, I'll undo then there is this other effect I love I love to prefer this uh, other effect so it is blur radio blur then uh, zoom the zoom effect it's like that then I'll press ok I give it time to load it's taking time of course So that's it, it's done. So the effect is like that. So for the next picture here, it's a full picture. Uh, instead of using now the quick selection tool to select the subject, I'll just uh, use this here. Select subject. So the first step, duplicate layer. Okay, then instead of uh, now picking the brush, I'll come here, select subject. And give it time to select the subject on its own as you can see it is it is very fast compared to the other one you can see the subject is well selected as you can see now except here here below for here i'll just come and uh, finish up polish where the select subject tool missed so after i'm done with that uh, right click select inverse then I go to edit, fill, color, I'll, I'll use a white one here, that way. Then after I'm done, I'll deselect. Now that is the final product. For this one now, I can, uh, I can just uh, save it like that. So, that's today guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.